St. Patrick's Day like green food. And here to show us how to do it in a really fun way is Tammy Baker, registered dietitian with the Dairy Council of Arizona. This is so fun, what a spread. What we can do is we can make almost anything green. So for family fun, if you want to turn everything green for St. Patrick's Day and keep it healthy, it's a great time to do it. Let's um, talk briefly about the food coloring. Is it safe? You know, the food coloring is safe, but most people don't like to use too much of it. And right. so we can also make a natural food coloring. So depending on your preference. Okay. Um, what we've done here is we've just taken some spinach and wilted it in um, hot water and then um, put it in a food processor and blended it. And you can add this to wow. almost anything except for the popcorn. <laughs> um, <laughs> and um, it'll turn it green and you really don't taste the spinach at all. Oh my gosh. So oh, that popcorn does look amazing. Though. Popcorn, we did have to go with the green food coloring and it just has a little bit of corn syrup, a little bit of vanilla extract, and um, it was all heated together and the popcorn was just Yum. rolled in it and just gave it a little green food coloring. But that's the only thing that actually has the green food coloring in it. Okay. We use some of the natural food coloring in the mashed potatoes and, you can kind of, and we also have some herbs and spices and things in the mashed potatoes as well to turn it that green color. Pretty. Great time to add green vegetables to things as well. And we've got, you can use like a yogurt dip to go with this. And um, you can make it in the form of a shamrock. Real easy to do with cucumbers. Cute. Just kind of fun. And everybody likes mac and cheese, but we turned it green <laughs> for St. Patrick's Day. And again, we just added some of this green food coloring. It's uh, just a regular whole grain pasta. We can put a cheese sauce on it. And so you've got some cheese and some protein, the whole grains, and you're getting your vegetables with the spinach. So smart. Yeah, yeah. And um, you know, again, no more green vegetables. Tray. Add a yogurt, cream cheese, garlic dip, which we have the recipe for online, and you have another appetizer that's kind of fun too. Mm -hmm. And over here, this looks so good. Those are so good. Those are mint smoothies, but really, what makes it green? There's some kale and avocado in it. And, oh my gosh! And also some um, mini mint chips and um, mint extract too, and of course yogurt because it's a smoothie. Oh. So they mix that all together, and you get that pretty green coloring, and you also get a little bit healthier smoothie. But you don't taste the avocado and the kale. Yeah. You taste the mint because I that's it was ice overpowering. Cream. <laughs> it looks like ice. Ice cream doesn't like mint yeah. chocolate chip ice cream. It's so much healthy. And and then this is chicken piccata. And what we've done instead of a regular sauce, which mm -hmm. is just a regular sauce, we've added the green food coloring again just to make it fun for St. Patrick's Day. And this sauce is really just butter, chicken stock, capers, a little flour. And um, you take that and you can add as much or as little of the green um, spinach as you want. And until you get whatever desired color oh, you'd oh, yeah, that like, so quickly. you take that and just pour it on top. If you need to reheat, you can just reheat real quickly in the microwave if it's cooled off from mm -hmm. what was originally done. And you have a green chicken piccata. Oh my gosh, so many great ways to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Tammy, thank you. All kinds of healthy things, too. If you like these recipes, just head to their website, dairycouncilofaz.org. Coming up.